So you're gonna add a pellet to the harbor or it's just gonna keep on burning <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NO1800. I'm gonna matter today, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think today we're gonna actually finish the final, I guess, kingdom in Mbesa, the final um <laughs> city state of Mbesa. I'm not exactly sure how the heck I'm supposed to catalyze that thing. But we're gonna try to do that thing. And also, I want to uh, finally start to provide my scholars with some with some proper uh, you know goods with some proper items. So as you can see over here, attack. what? How? Which one? Oh, of course. <sighs> Do I flag back once again? Oh well, whatever. Nobody cares about that thing. So last time, ladies and gentlemen, we did ourselves the island of uh, Kidusi Atoni. We've did the quest and stuff like that. So the only one remaining for us to do is Angerep. Now with the access to the great library, we should be able to help those guys find the mythical spear and actually hopefully finish up the final uh, quest chain in, in Bessa. After that, we're just gonna focus on uh, building the actual city. And of course, we still have the quest chain for the Fartbender himself, Archibald Blake. But I'm not for gonna focus on Archibald uh, just today. Today we're gonna try to do different stuff. So as you all know, the scholars acquire, well, specific weird, I would say, goods, right? They require tailored suits, they require seafood, which I'm still working on. They require telephones, they require current food, which we can provide, uh, electricity, stuff like that. But also they require things like leather boots, bowler hats, rum, hibiscus tea, pipes, gramophones, and of course, tapestries. Now, most of those items can be actually made in the land of the lion. Some of them have been unlocked by new production chains in the old world. So, for example, uh, letter boots can be made over here. Same goes for tailored suits. Uh, telephones are also a good from the from the old world. But the thing is that only the scholars will use that thing. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to solve this issue. Because at the beginning, I wanted to build those production buildings on the actual capital aligned island. Uh, will that be a good idea? I don't know. Will I actually stick to the idea? I don't know either. I'm actually thinking about using those smaller islands around here. Uh, as you can see, I can actually fit the trade union here and try to make, you know, some appropriate uh, production chains over here. Maybe. I don't know. We will see. But the boots are definitely a thing I would like to keep on the capital island. Why exactly? Because... I've been working tirelessly on my research institute and as you all know, I got myself some really cool items, you know, some animals, some guys that can actually help me with the residences and stuff like that. But the thing I wanted to use is located in the trade union tab. It's basically this guy, Effect Bootmakers. He gives 20 attractiveness, which is quite a lot, and also he changes the input. Now I could try to stick to the Sanka cows. Because I have a no, lot of them. I was granted a stipend to find and study the Catablepus, which you all know, of course. Now my pen pal at a federated institution writes. I have no idea what he's talking about to me. Why is he talking to me anyway? I don't know. But the thing is that we got ourselves this guy over here, right? So he changes the input. Uh, he also makes me extra tailored suits. So that's gonna be fancy and stuff like that. So what are some other items we could potentially try to use with the with the bootmaker? Well, that's a good question. You can check it over here. You're gonna go to the items. Uh, trade union. Boot. Boot. Letter boot. Bootmakers. Okay, so those are the items we can try to use with the bootmakers. Those are the items we could try to use <laughs> to work with the bootmaker. <laughs> right, so obviously we can use the uh, best character in the entire game, which is awesome. We can, of course, use this guy. So that's already two of them. And I got once, I could try to use this thing. The workforce needed minus 50%. That would be great. Uh, is there anything else potentially we could try to use? Productivity plus 25. Eh, not exactly. Oh, apparently this thing works. Cloth, uh, cloth industries. Okay. It's gonna cost me a lot. But I'm gonna try to make one of those. And we'll see how far we can uh, try to get with that thing. 25. That's not a lot. We'll see. So I need to get the, uh, I need to get the research institute to make me some items. I kind of hope I actually have access to those items because if not, then well, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. 
Let's see. I don't see it. God damn it. Well, I just needed to roll a few new items and eventually I got the thing I need. Worth there I go. Shortage. Okay, so we got the two necessary items. Let's start the production. So where is that thing once again? Worth there it is. Cloth shortage. production. Get it done. And in the meantime, we're gonna try to prepare uh, ourselves, you know, a Worth proper district over shortage. here. Now I was thinking what exactly we're gonna try to do here. First of all, I need to move this guy around. Okay. So... I think we could potentially try to copy this thing here. Like if I'm gonna do something like this... Okay, hold a second, maybe not like that. If I'm gonna potentially try to copy this... I should be able to squeeze it in, right? Well, almost. Hmm. Okay. Also need to figure out the range of the... Uh, of the uh, town hall. Right, definitely. Well, I, I think I can try to work with this thing around here. Unless I could try to move the bank a bit further into land. Is that gonna be a possibility? If I'm gonna move you for like a second, probably my income is gonna go down the uh, go down the drain. Okay, now let's see. I hope I can gradually seed change. you again. Which island you've bought? How the hell are you capable of buying this island out? Is just beyond my understanding of the game logic. So there you go. That's a, that's what we call a dick move, but I don't really care because like she hasn't seen a dick in a long time. Uh, okay. So there's a bank over there. I think all the houses... Okay, some of the houses don't have access to the bank as they should. Okay, that makes my life a little bit more difficult. But if I'm gonna slap this thing here... I should take still a full benefit of the... of the town hall. And still be able to use it, but then again, I really would like to align it with this road over here. This is this one rather moment in the game where, well, you kind of can't have everything you want. Which is kind of annoying. But with a little bit of, a, oh, with sure. a little bit of uh, editing magic, with a little bit of a patience and a few buckets of coffee, you are actually able to squeeze this thing uh, more or less around over here. So that should work. I can also try to delete this road around Worth here because I don't think it's going to be an appropriate one. Explorers. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, which Worth one? Which one? This one? Okay, not worrying about that one. Not worrying about this one. This one's okay. This one's okay. 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 Show me the island. Okay. Yeah. I I am having a lot of problems with coal once again in the goddamn Arctic. Why? Nobody knows. So this is more or less how the district uh, is gonna look like, right? We're gonna put the investors over here. I've added a few decorations, stuff like that, you know, a few houses. Probably I could still try to make it a little bit better, um, you know, by adding some unconventional. Uh, is that the proper word? But that's probably not the word. Uh, basically, you know, decorations and stuff like that. So. Maybe it's gonna actually work as intended. I can add this gigantic statue if I really want to. I haven't actually added it anywhere. Uh, can you give me like a, you know... Okay, well, I, I think I'm gonna use this one. Also, why did I destroy the trees over here? Hmm. A fire broke out. This keep on exploding. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that thing. We have to eventually probably fix that thing as well. But anyway, now, we got that thing done. So I'm gonna move some of the... Uh, investors from that district, probably those things over here, to their new home over here. Why? Because I want to prepare a place, I mean, I want to prepare room for the book factory. There you go, a nice, healthy place to start building the factories. Uh, well, okay, so I need to add a few adjustments here and there, but, you know, that's a work in progress. Trade union, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can Work I actually squeeze this thing over here? Okay, we already got a hospital over there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If I'm gonna move the warehouse here. Yeah, that, that should be good, right? And if I'm gonna move the hospital. Ah, I really dislike this placement. But I think I'm just gonna roll with it. And once you look at that, if you remember, since the previous episode, I'm also looking for the guy who can work with the seafood uh, kitchen or whatever you're gonna call that thing. And affects luminars. Productivity plus 50%, which is a lot. Produces extra limited scripts and lanterns. 
Well, if this is not the, one of the best guys in the entire game, then I know, don't know who is. Also, I selected the wrong thing. Uh, oh! Affects all embassy and crop farms. Not bad! If only you didn't suck and I didn't have better items. Yeah, okay. Uh, 10,000 is gonna cost me the next investment. Let's leave it for now. Let's let's just leave it for now and see how that thing is gonna go. Now, I've ordered the transportation of pigs from a nearby island. So, as you can see, the storage is slowly and steadily growing. I had better leave it. I got right now. How many boots we got? Three. Okay. Right. So, now I just have to figure out what's gonna be the best way to squeeze those bastards in. And also because I got myself a shipyard over here, which the I epidemic. hope eventually I'll be Spreads able to build. Your city. Uh. Yeah, oh, you know what? Maybe. How they want to have four. They want to have four shipyards affected by the har harbor master. That would be cool. Stand to attention for the it's boss. not gonna look cool, but it's gonna be cool. No. Maybe. I even had some time to, you know, improve the harbor area over here. Look at this thing. This looks like a proper military dock right now. Haha. <laughs> okay, I still hope I'll be able to squeeze those things in. So how many potential bootmakers I'm gonna need? Around eight. I know. Surprise. So little. <laughs> well. Not exactly, but you're gonna see that thing in due time. So I need to squeeze somehow eight of those things around. Now, because this thing is like a new building, you know, it has like a unique model, and it has like this warehouse thingy that I kinda hope that we be able to use over here and you know pretend that this is part of the military harbor. So not only I'm gonna be making the boots over here, and I'm also gonna be using those things as a well, as a decorative building, kinda, maybe. I don't know. You, you get the idea. Uh so I need eight, right? So if I'm gonna do something like this... Hmm, okay, so this is out outside of its influence range already. That ain't good, man. That really ain't good. I can sque squeeze, a, I think, a, uh, a warehouse over here. But squeezing the actual buildings... Ah, it's gonna be a bit of a problem. Ah, finally, the guest of honor is ready. Oh yeah! Collect him. Okay, so we can build this thing finally, and after that we're gonna go back to Mbessa and we're gonna try to do the quests and stuff like that. Uh, okay, what's the good building point? I think it's over here. Come on, select you somehow. Come on, really? You got problems with selecting this thing? There you go. Now select everything. And uh, build! Oh, I actually built those things as well by mistake. Oh well. Nobody cares. It's fine. It's fine. Build the warehouses, upgrade them right away. I think I'll leave that one to... yeah, to red one. That should be fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Bill, of course, the bootmakers. Hell yeah! Someone at your shoulder. Okay, pause you for like a second. I've lost a bunch of people, but that's alright. And we got four slots over here to use. Okay, so attractiveness is... I, I mean, now oh, I got a lot of attractiveness, but you know, you know how it is. Five here, ten there, fifteen over there, five million over there. And you end up with a amount like this. So I got 318. I don't think it's gonna go like super huge. Uh, wait, maybe I need to activate them? Oh, I had to activate you first. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh well. So that we got that thing done. Uh, bootmakers. Yeah, workforce needed minus 50%. That's awesome. That's great. Now let's see. Where's the other item? Mm. Was it this one or was it the other one? I think it was the other one. Uh, cloth industries. There you go. 50%. Has from its Workforce point. needed minus a lot. Okay. That thing. And now the final guy, which is. Which is. Who's the guy in the green? Ah, I ran out of them. I had to get a few more. Okay, well, whatever. But anyway, the guy in question is gonna arrive very soon, so let's activate all of those. Oh, yeah. Juicy. Juicy! Mm -mm 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 -mm. So now we're using actually picks to construct ourselves some boots, which later on, of course, we'll go to the scholars, which means that they're gonna be more happy and they're gonna also produce me more uh, science points, which is like the purpose of this entire thing, right? Uh, so now I just have to remember that I have to remove the older ones. Uh, so I'm gonna find you. I think it was those? Yeah. So delete you, delete you, delete you. So all of them? Well, I didn't have too many, that's for sure. Okay, so now the question remains what I'm gonna do with the tailor suits. Um, 
I'm actually thinking about moving them on a different island. I know that may be a bit more tricky, but I think it's gonna be a good, good, uh, a good thing to happen in the in the end, right? So probably I'm gonna move those things over here, and we're gonna basically make this the detailers over there. Or I still have one uninhabited island over here, an island that I haven't actually never touched. Pitching the only thing the I do over here is grow think... grapes for my for for my shopping for the for the investors. So you know, maybe we're gonna use that thing. We will see. We will see in due time. But anyway, back to Mbessa. Ah, yes, my glorious, glorious uh, Ethiopian country, I guess. It's kind of best like on Ethiopia, God knows what else. Uh, so basically we did, as I said last time, the Great Library. I still have to think how I'm gonna grow this entire uh, island over here. Probably Your during the next episode, I want void. to focus on getting the seafood from here. That later on we'll be sending to this island, to the capital city. And also I want to start making tapestry as well over here. Those, those are the plans. Will it actually work? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> a sneak peek of the upcoming things I plan for them better. What exactly is this thing? Ah, well, you'll see. You'll see in due time. Uh, now, let's see what else we could try to potentially do over here. I don't think I can uh, get those things done today. I could try, but I don't think that's going to be the thing because I already wasted too much time on making the boots. But yeah, those are the things I would like to do in the future noticed. So I'm referring to the to tapestries. We already got all of the necessary resources to get this thing done. And I kinda need this, this thing for the scholars. For and of course we need to get the pipe makers. But for that thing I need to probably increase the tobacco production back in the new world. Yeah. You know, in due time, in due time indeed. Now I need to look from its I need to go I need to go to the library and we need to look for a specific book. Now what exactly is the book called that we need to look for? Help the Agaverian figure out uh, and, and get and get Berian figure out the location of the spear. Make a decision. Okay, maybe later on. Garden of the Forken Allies. Allies. Medical treat you now on the old world. The heck is this? Traveling from the old world often seeks out the holy mountains uh, believing to be found. Uh, they found the mythical land of God. Sile Amidos. We see no reason to contract them. Great power those dreams and tales, yada yada yada. Is there anything referring to the spear? I don't think so. Symbiosis of Mbessa. Governments of Kidusi. Foundation of Mbessa. Screw you. A day in the life of the priest. Old God of Virtues. Maybe it's over here? No, that's about the census. That's not the one. Troglodyte architecture. Trestian heresy of the golden in the golden age. Heresy is what the powerful would not see survive in the domain. No golden era, yada yada yada. No, nothing referring to the spear. Litany of the blessed dead. Gopha. Death by Merkers. Adera. Death by Boulderfall on the mountain path. Lulu. Death by falling off the mountain path. Tit Huan. Death by severe sword injuries. Oh wait, Northy belongings. Old spear entrusted to the ugly dot. Oh, I think I found it <laughs> by mistake. So let's try to make an decision over here. Uh, okay, including the spear, we'll return to Ongat. Do you have any idea what that might be? Hmm. Could it be the eight virtues as described in the book? Okay, hold on a second. Eight virtues. Eight senses. If something expresses itself through each of them, then it must be divinity. Divine. As nothing can access human senses better than divinity. Senses are a way of feeling. Old God of, of virtues. Could be it. Let's see. The entomology would hint at eight of something. Gods? Statues? Hold on a second. What is the eighth sense? Instinct. <laughs> That's not helping at all! Uh, Government of Kidusi, Symbiosis of Mbessa, the Phoenix, Hibiscus. Hmm. No, the lion. 
symbol of kings, Salami of Sile Amidos, was chosen by Queen Shreba as a protector of their new realm when the lost islands sank beneath the waves. His capture quotes her saying, The king is dead, but his cops will roar his legacy over all the land of the lion. Yeah, great poetry, man. Hmm. It is over here? She's yours. No. None of that. I don't think so. Okay, virtuals. Right. Let's try to do something with this thing, shall we? They aimed one of the people buried here. Ontology would hint an eight of something. God's statues could be eight virtuals described in the book. A breakthrough! So this is odd gold. Uh, so this odd gold is a creed. A belief in eight critical virtuals that must be over overserved by the priestess in Kidusi Atoni. That's something interesting, but it doesn't help us much. Look around some more and see what you can uncover. Agree. Is there anything else around here that I've missed? I just, I just have to stick to the library and, you know, go through all of that, this bullshit. Crocodile architecture. No. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Severe sword injuries. Entrusted to the Ogdot. Og Ogdude. Hmm, Ogdot. Could the priest have intentionally meant the opposite, opposite of what they said, just to further mislead? It is not virtuous we seek, but the book itself, the physical odd god. That would certainly be an interesting explanation to hide the exact location inside of a book. In that case, there must be something specific about that book, something to set it aside from all others in the library. Any considerations on what that might be? The location of the book within the I library right. is stored in the left you. wing. The object itself, a book made of wood. Nah. It's age. The book was written in the Silver Age. Kidusi was laid to waste by the Mad King Surya just before the Silver Age. Most of the buildings and tombs on the island today were built or written during the Silver Age. How did the... Okay, that must be something... some other. Let's start over. I'm doing this thing the right way. Okay. If the virtues are the key to sincerity, the spin must be laid in this highly sacred place. No, we, we go with this one. So it's not this, not this. Left wing? The library is quite a labyrinth. A fitting metaphor for a quest to enlightenment. Doubtless the priest would have found the imagery appealing. I have noticed the inscriptions above each of the wings. All of them are named. I suspect those names hold the second part of the key to this enigma. Return to the library and investigate the trail. I shall ponder this further, and hopefully by the time you return, I will have more uh, future sense sense uh, of it all. Okay. So... Wait, what do you mean it's found in the left wing? It's found in the... the northern wing. What, you want me to go... east? I mean, west? Hmm. Make a decision. When you and I, the priestess entrusted her belongs to something they call the, the Ongat. We found a book by this title in the library. In the wing, a plenty named the Island of God. In the book position in the library, it is assumed to mirror the spear positioned on the island. We must discover what the Island of God refers to. Then lies the key to understand this charade. Perhaps each wing is a representative of a specific place on the island. Perhaps each wing represents one of the islands in Ambessa. That's what I thought at first. But the island of God in Ambessa would be Kidusi itself, which brings us back to square one. Fair to say, that would be far too impre impressed. Impresses? If we assume the clues were designed for future generations of priests, it must be something they'll easily be able to identify. Okay, well, I made a mistake once again. So, perhaps each wing specific place on the island. Of course! Remember the description the library front spice? Within the library is the whole of Kidusi. It corroborates your theory. If that is so, then the island of God must be the holiest place on the island. The Basin of Ambulus, also located in the leftmost part of the temple, which like which much like this wing of the library. Keep listening. So the library serves as a map. Ha! <laughs> how simple, how elegant. An impressive deduction, my friend. Then if the book is on the leftmost wing, we must look for the uh, top place in the most left part of the temple. A place where the odd god, the eight virtues, could be represented, probably in the abstract. With those clues, 
we should be able to determine where the spear was hidden. Find where the spear is hidden. It should be close to the temple in a place that could be uh, related to the number eight. An hourglass? What is hidden passage over here? What the fuck is this? Eh? No idea what this thing is. Hmm. Also, probably I'll have to send another ship over here. Because otherwise, we won't have... The airship? Uh, do I have... Do, do, do I have, like, anything? Okay, you. Just drop the things into the sea and get over here. Hmm. Represents an 8. Lit it to the number 8. I have no idea. Find where the spirit is hidden. It should be close to the temple. Hmm. Hmm. Representing an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is it somewhere here? Check the water! Somebody dive over there! Hmm. Okay, that's not the place. You do see temple. Hmm. Wait. Eight columns! A story in the making. Okay. Columns felt like they're holding s silent vigil watching you before you enter the temple. The place, and I believe I have a plan. Meet me when you are ready. I am always ready. Make a decision. The spear is near the entrance to the temple, which is under heavy guard. If, if, take the road. I am the certain they encounter priests, buildings and they will be doubtless, uh, and they will doubtless be wary of my presence and identity. There is also a hidden mountain path that would get me quite close to the temple, but it seems rather perilous. Take the road. The mountain path seems best. Treacherous pass. Loose rocks? I will need some sort of map to progress. Ready? Sure! Okay. Take the picture of the t pier at the entrance of the mountain path, or take the picture of the tunnel entrance into the mountain. Beware. Beware. The Book of the Blessed Dead seems to hint at potential dangers. What? What potential dangers? Blessed Dead. Finding of the mountain path. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Mountain path, you say. Beware. Hmm. Okay. So, you don't want me to go for the mountain? I think I'm not supposed to send you for the mountain. Is there like even an entrance to the, to the temple? Like a back door or something? Take the picture of the tunnel entrance into the mountain. Beware. The book of the de blessed dead seems to hint at potential dangers. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna f make a picture over here. How about that? Take a photo. Smile! Okay. Into the mountains then. Wait till you hear from me. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling about this. I have to eight eight minutes before he's gonna return. Ah, finally found this guy. This, this, was, this was the guy I was looking for this entire time. Instead of lobsters, the building processor sang a cow. Yes, please. Now, if you wonder why exactly I'm so far away in this in this quest, it's because we've started to do it at some point, but we needed to first finish up Kidusia Tony in order to get access to the library. As, like, you know, in, in order to actually progress in the quest. Because before you're gonna do the... Uh, the starting quest for Kidusi Atoni, then you don't get access to the library, which means you cannot get the you know the information about the location of the spear and stuff like that. So it's kind of split it like into two parts. Uh, but like the beginning quest is I think quite easy. The only thing you need to remember is that you have to go to the emperor, pick up the white flag from him, and with the white flag you can just approach the the military harbor. And try to speak with those guys, right? After that, it's just like, you know, clicking around, listening, ignoring the NPCs and stuff like that. But yeah, you need to swim here, sail here with the with the white flag. Otherwise, those cannons over here, well, they're gonna wreck your little boat apart. So just be aware of that thing and you'll be fine. Just a little bit more. And also, by the way, there's a Pentia hidden entrance over here. <laughs> right here. I wonder if I was supposed to use this thing instead. 
What is this thing? A canal? Holy shit, is this really how this, this temple is big at? Look, this is the entrance of the temple. So you want to tell me this entire mountain is one gigantic temple? Holy shit, man. That's huge. Okay. We found a man in the mountains, wounded, who sent us to you for aid. Perhaps you would care to explain? Ah, there we go. Motherfucker didn't manage to do anything. Have gone better. Master your wits. The high priestess is a shrewd old woman. How the fuck you've managed to fail? Holy shit, man, that was so simple. Hi. Hello. Select the high priest to face her judgment. I am trying to, but she refuses to speak with me. Okay. Why does she refuse to speak with me? The spear is here. My predecessors made no mention of this great secret. Apt precautions, seeing your shameless attempt to break in. Thanks. I will let you have this spear, for Angereb is its shrine of old. But I will not have Kidusi lose such a treasure rewardlessly. Okay, deliver an M7 artifact of epic or legendary value to Kidusi and Tony. Really? I mean, sure. I... Why not? G give me a second. You want an artifact? I'm gonna give you a fucking ass artifact. Hello, I've come with an artifact. Just say the word. I I hope it's actually gonna work. I've bought it from the emperor. And ah, excellent. At last, the spear returns to Angareb. Let us be on our way then. Okay. The way the blood of a spear of the Ele what the fuck? Elemis is not just a relic of Mbessa. Long claws founding dynasty. It is a symbol, one that could be used to anger up to rise up. We hold a new ruler, claiming the legitimacy granted by the spear, a self proclaimed true king of Mbessa. By the grace of the Lord, it is a dangerous artifact to leave unattended and one it's out of my hands the Emperor now. must be notified of. But beware, whatever you choose to give it to, their opponents may never forgive you for the deceit. Okay. Remember, the prince may not forgive you for siding with Katema. Well, I, I, I hope they're gonna declare war on me because I'm really bored. Okay, inform the fleet to get the fuck out of there. And get the fuck out of there now. <laughs> Evacuate! <laughs> Evacuate the flagship. Oh, okay. Right, here I come with the bloody spear. I wonder how this week is gonna go. Either they're gonna declare war on me. And I'll have to just go back here with with ships and blazers and basically wreck their shit. Oh, something else is gonna happen. There is like a lot of cannons around here. One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of cannons. Holy shit. Okay. Ready Emperor, I've brought Notice you. We have no shipyards here. I build them all in the northern port of Didigala. Just say the great, word. Great, great, great. Here is your stupid spear. Here, I have, have it. not counted on so swift a return. What news from Angareb? You want a spear? The spear. I thought it lost. And you say it was in Kidusi? You did well to bring it. It is too powerful an artifact for Angareb to wield. With their trust in you broken, it seems we are out of solutions. Dire times await. Sound the drums of war. What war? <laughs> what war? Dude, like, are you even aware of what type of a war fleet I've brought here with me? Do you honestly think that those little tiny boats with one cannon, maybe two, <laughs> across the entire said boat, are gonna be a threat to me? I mean, be serious. Wait, does that mean if I'm gonna sail over here, then they're gonna try to shoot me? Hold on a second. Aye. Sacrifice one of the ships. Come on, boy. Come on, get over there. Can I damage this thing? Please tell me I can damage this thing. I don't want to wait for the for fucking 30 minutes to do this thing. Come on! <laughs> if you want to declare war on me now, then I'm gonna Ooh, declare war on you. God damn it, 30 minutes of... Ah! The fleet has arrived! Just in time. We have the upper hand. And must seize it, lest it fades. Okay, what you want me to do? Pick up the bomb. <laughs> but efficient. 
cannon silenced by fire. Poetic justice, some may say. What the fuck? Smuggle the bomb to Angreb trading post before the princess discover your treachery. Good and ready. Uh, fake spear. Oh, oh okay, the fake spear ready has to go. Right, sure. Send the clipper in. <laughs> this thing is gonna go boom! <laughs> okay, the thing is that the fleet has arrived. So we're gonna send the fleet over here. And they're gonna have stupid, stupid, stupid ideas. Well, I will answer them with cannons. Reason. And that you found Yeah, spear? this is for a good reason. Yeah, I found a spear. Happy New Year! And? Hello? The dog was the boom. It's true colors. You would deny us kingship? And it is why you will have relentless. Yeah, sure. End. Okay, so what now? Destroy the anger of Harbor to make. Dealing with traitors is not war, it is justice. And you will rain the fire of my wrath down upon them. <laughs> with pleasure, your highness. Just give me the war fleet over here. Here comes the war fleet, boys. <laughs> Let's uh, show them those morons how a proper war fleet is supposed to look like. New Send in the gold, uh, gun bows first. So they're gonna focus on them. And after that. Uh, we're gonna send in the frigates you and of course the big boys send in the black sails every single one of them they forgot about Thinking something and no, i didn't charge <laughs> this is gonna be like oh shit <laughs> what we gonna do now yeah sure rotate the cannon ship under attack oh no you're destroying my gunboats oh no what i'm gonna do now oh no you guys are planning to fire anytime soon uh, hello? Right, I want you to fire upon this. Come on, fire! All ships! <laughs> See, this is what you get. This is what you get for messing with me. And of course, I got mortars for you. I cannot fire, why? One mortar shot. Second mortar shot, because reasons. You done? Was, but our huts and our faith in the line of Selamawi, his true line. Will never yield. Wanna bet? I would rather it had not come to this. However treacherous, we are still kin. But in this, I cannot be divided. You have done well to suppress Angareb. Peace is bought with might. So has it ever Stations. been. The new defenses of Tabarim will ensure all know that Ketima the Builder shall be the bane of any who oppose him. That's it? <laughs> Let these be the last of my enemies to die before me. I am weary of blood. You shall be recompensed for helping restore and base on unity. Thanks. The Spear of Unity. For the one who wove that unity into being. A fitting gift, I believe. Thank you. The age of the Elamais ends, and with it go the remnants of that time. Take the spear, and teach others of the tribulations of the land of lions. So, you're gonna repair the harbor, or it's just gonna keep on burning <laughs> in the background? <laughs> I have no idea. You guys are planning to repair this thing or... Or did I screw up completely that you won't try to repair anything around here anymore? I don't know. So you give me the... Whoa! Whoa, he got cannons! Holy shit! And he finished up his pal- Wow! Imperial Military Academy. Wow! Resume the attack or your siege will end. Wow! Oh, the Temple of the Alam. Hmm. He didn't finish that thing, for sure. But holy shit, this palace is impressive. And now he has like some proper defenses around here as well. I mean, he doesn't have the big cannon, but... Wow! Imperial Military Academy. When Agra uh, renowned to loyalty, the Emperor has put together a program to train your... Ambassadors in discipline and alertness, 
ensuring the protection of all in Bessa. Special attention has been given to fire hazards in the prevention. <laughs> yeah. And also because I finished out the other islands, I got the research institute from uh, Kenasi, Yadani, whatever thing. The emperor has built a vast library to encourage the newly united priestess of Kidusi to process the research. The constant collection of scrolls, tombs, and most secret and extensive lore has led to increased yield in the research points in Empesa. And then of course the Imperial Gardens. Of course the Imperial Gardens. The donation of Vahadesha led Katema to experiment with his canals and ultimately to build those wondrous gardens. Meanwhile, the, the invention has spread through Empesa to enchant its existing capabilities. Yay! I thought I saw a No 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 no. Hold on a second. Ooh! The legend is built of Embesan's Elemans language. Its neck carved with the entrails, it says to be an authentic part of the Ark of the Covenant, forged by Almar. It reads, verse 1, And upon prayers born from the Votmos shrine shall new shadow form of a place where those above and those below are joined. And the word of God, word of God shall hold the first of the Elamis in a very lasting sleep there. So that's it. <laughs> That's it. Military defenses. The Prince of Angreb plays great value on the military might of the Overlord. So Katema has no choice other than to develop a strong military defenses on tambourine shores. So each one of them give you a different thing. Wait, does that affect also my harbor defenses? I don't have any actually. Hold on a second. If I'm gonna build you... I cannot build you because I don't have a cannon. Just right, sure. Hmm, I do wonder will they give me anything for actually, you know, helping the emperor in this matter. But then again, I wonder, should I actually try to give the spear to the princess? Like, what would happen if I would give them the, the spear in the end? Because I don't think they... <laughs> You want to speak with me anymore? If I'm gonna speed up this thing a little bit, four seconds, three seconds, and a competitor's island withstood an attack. Great. So how about you're gonna try to repair the harbor? <laughs> Wait, does that mean I cannot move any ship nearby because you're gonna try to blow me up? I wonder. No, they're completely fine with my presence over here. Ah. Okay, you know what? I've saved the game before I went to the to the Emperor, so I just wonder what's gonna happen if I'm gonna give the spear to them instead of him. But that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna try to do uh, in the future episodes because for now I'm gonna leave this thing as over here since I've already run out of my record time. So you know I'm gonna leave that thing for the for the next one, and of course after that we're gonna focus f solely on increasing the quality of life, I guess, around Embassa. But that's gonna be the thing. For the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the collective episode. Peace out. See you in the next video.